Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. Is this too loud? Probably. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to move back now, just like a little bit. Okay, so like, the full moon is just shining into my face. I think this won't fuck, I wanna catch a fight. I wanna start a fight or catch some hands, so I just decided to like, morph these two phrases into one. <laughs> Okay, so, how are you all doing? You all five people, or 28, <laughs> you know, like, from the likes and the views count, yeah. So, um, actually, that's, that's, like, a topic I want to talk about today, um, and it is, like, about demotivation and also, like, um, why would anyone ever want to be famous? And um, I don't know why I want to talk about it. I just know that I am going to. And yeah, so I hope you all are doing like, I don't want to say well, because <laughs> I don't know anyone who's doing especially well in this these trying times. But like, I hope you all are doing okay. <laughs> like fitting the situation, you know, I hope you all are doing, I hope you all are he healthy and okay, <laughs> because um, I know many people who have a lot more mental health, health issues or um, physical health issues because of quarantine and stuff, so I hope, I hope you're okay. <laughs> And, um, yeah, so, I, uh, wanted to be, like, really regular with my videos now, I know it, like, I know how bad of a job I've been doing <laughs> in the last couple of weeks, um, that's because I'm a person, when I have a plan and I can't follow through with that plan, I get really demotivated, because I always want to give like 200% to everything <clears throat> and um, if I can't do that I I'm so disappointed in myself and I'm so frustrated so I just stop <laughs> and I'm trying to work on that um, especially if it's something that's just like for me and for nobody else because if it's for somebody else even if I fail or even if I even if the first plan doesn't follow through, I, like, I, Im I improvise and everything. So that's not my problem. I always have a problem with doing things for myself. And this YouTube channel is something I do for myself. Um, the thought of many, many people seeing my content and finding something soothing in it or something is, is really, just really cool. And I like that idea. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I had a whole video planned, or, like, also I filmed a whole video, um, of me just cutting my hair following a Brad Mondo tutorial. I will talk about that in, like, a speed paint I also did, um, but, uh, yeah, it's just so much, like, the first half of all the videos got corrupted, and that demotivated me so much because I had this plan, I have this plan with all these videos just listed when I'm going to post them, when I'm going to edit them and everything and also the title and the content and everything. It was all planned and then something like this happens. <laughs> and even though I can't change anything with that problem, I was so frustrated and I was so, I was going so hard on myself like, oh, damn it, I think I I did something wrong and it's all my fault and ugh, who even wants to see that and everything like that. So I was, I was really negative. And um, yeah, but at some point I, I always look at my channel and see like, oh yeah, I posted this video like a week ago. Oh, now it's two weeks ago. Now it's three weeks ago. And now I'm posting the new video. Sounds like trash to me. <laughs> And so I decided, like, no, no, I'm going to, like, I, I also, I had, like, a video I 
already edited and everything just if the other video didn't do well or like if something like that happened but I completely forgot just because I was so frustrated I forgot I had an extra video already waiting in line if something went wrong <laughs> so when I noticed that I was like why why do I let my emotions like pull me down so much that I just don't follow through with the plan <laughs> because that's the whole problem that I can't follow through th with the plan why am I doing this <laughs> Um, and yeah, so I have to start caring a bit less. And I know this sounds weird because everyone is always like saying about themselves, like I have to care more about myself or I have to care more about the content and the quality. And I always like many people tell me that they always have this feeling like, I don't know, when you want to start work to work out. And you don't really want to because it's hard and it's not always as easy as it seems. And, you know, it's, you know, you know that feeling. Um, in Germany, that's called uh, der innere Schweinehund. So the inner pig dog, I guess. <laughs> it's just this feeling that you have to, like, overcome these Uh, negative emotions and all the things that are pulling you down to start something like that like you have to motivate yourself and um, I don't have that I have the exact opposite I always have to like I guess I don't know how can you say that uh, like I have to create an inner pig dog <laughs> to like just give myself some breaks and go a bit just be a bit nicer to myself <laughs> because I'm such a perfectionist in many things and uh, I don't I can't always do everything right and I, especially not for myself like even if I do everything like the plan says I still find a reason or I still find something that I did wrong and that I did not as good as I could have done and then I am frustrated again and I always, like, I look at myself and I'm like chill like, <laughs> what? what is wrong with you, dude? just chill there are so many wonderful things in life why do I have to always, like make them bad and just add so many negative emotions to that and then there's the next point that's the next level of self-hatred <laughs> no that's the, the next level of self-deprecation when i say why are you always like that and then there's the next level like yeah why are you always like that that's you're such a bad person <laughs> so i can't do anything right for myself that was my new year's re resolution that's the only one i have to go nicer and to listen to my body because there are many things I don't know if you are the same but especially when it comes to like period and stuff I'm I'm always like oh yeah that's that's like that's unusual that can could be something unhealthy yeah but I don't want to like look further into it I don't want to go to, to the doctor for that I'm too not lazy I just don't want to care for myself <laughs> so please If your body gives you some sort of sign that something's wrong, maybe try and, like, listen to your body. Even if it's just something like feeling tired all the time, that's not normal. If you feel weak all the time or something like that, that's not normal. Please try and listen to your body and maybe, even if it's nothing, it's always good to, like, try and find the reasons of why your body is reacting that way it could be that you're just like not training as much and so your body does not have as much energy like you know um saved in muscle tissue and something if you don't have as much muscle tissue anymore there won't be that much kinetic is that the right english word um 
energy safe. That's that's normal. You can feel weaker because of that. But if you are like a really good sports man, woman, or person, <laughs> I guess, um, and suddenly you just don't have energy, maybe something's wrong. <laughs> so um, yeah, please try to motivate yourself to care for yourself. Okay, just you know. Just do something with me here. Just close your eyes for a moment. And just try and feel how your body feels right now. Is there any place in your body or any little little point or even like a like a whole body part that feels weird or does it all feel equally good or bad i don't know does how does your body feel in this moment and if you've done that how do you feel right now like try and do a little check-in how do you feel any answer is okay even if it's a negative one that's okay all i want you to do is just feel if maybe your body or your mind needs something maybe right now you need like five seconds of complete silence you know what i will give you that Maybe you don't need silence. Maybe you need a friend. Maybe you need to talk to someone. Do you have someone, like a, like a little conversation you always wanted to hold with someone, but never found the right moment to? Maybe the right moment is now. Maybe it isn't. That's also okay. Maybe you need water or food or something. Maybe you just need to move a bit like maybe you have just so much energy in yourself that you want to like move around do that stand up dance sing whatever do whatever you have the feeling you want to do in this moment and maybe just a little thing i propose to you <laughs> do these check-ins like once a day twice as many times as you want just try to listen a bit more to yourself, you know? Because I will try that too. And I think that's a good thing to do. Because we all just want to stay as healthy as we can, right? And yeah. So I just completely went on a tangent, like every time. <laughs> So I hope you like this tangent. I didn't get to talk about as many topics as I wanted to, but that's okay. At, at least I talked about something else that I'm passionate about. So, um, yeah. <laughs> hope you like this video. Hope maybe it gave you some inspiration or something. Or some... I don't know. A good feeling, maybe? <laughs> that would be super great. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I, I said that already like three times, but thanks for watching. Fourth time now. Bye. <laughs>